Hi YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I'm Joel from Jonesy's and this is gonna be another installment of our 1973 Camaro Resto Mod build. We are deep into the body and paint work on this project after we uh, finished up our last video with the rust repair on the roof. So we'll give you a tour of where we're at. So here is the car before it is going under the final wet sand with 400 and 600. Again, because this is a vinyl top car, we're not gonna be worried too much about anything up on the roof. So we have our guide coat, that's this black stuff, um, so that we can make sure and double check all of our body work. So the process up to this point, which I alluded to in the other videos, has been seal everything up after sandblaster with epoxy primer, do uh, some rough in filler work, three coats of polyester primer, more uh, filler work along with block sanding the polyester primer with 120 and then finishing it off with 220. And then we have three coats of the uh, high build primer, which is the buff color that you see right now. Um, and we're gonna sand all this. We'll probably crack it open with 320 and then finish it off with 400 and 600 wet. And then it will be ready for color at that point. So. What we are gonna do, you can see we have the fenders off. We're gonna paint this stuff in several stages. First round of stuff in the paint booth is gonna be the two fenders as well as the two doors. So we will get the paint booth cleaned up really well. And it's gonna have a uh, coat of sealer which will be gray and we'll coat the whole thing in gray because that provides the proper base color for the uh, green gold that we will be spraying on. So we're gonna get everything sealed up uh, in the gray uh, sealer primer and then put three coats of color and then three coats of the PPG 2002 uh, high solids clear. We'll put two coats on that, and then that will be ready to get set to the side, and then that actually will be wet sanded with 600 again, and then we'll spray three more coats of clear. That's what's called a flow coat. Um, here you can see we have done a really good job of masking everything off to prevent any kind of overspray. This section here, we will have green. So from this seam right here down into the door jams, all the door hinges, all that will be green once we get the body ready to go. So this first round, like I said, is gonna be the two doors as well as the two fenders, and they will go all the way through three coats of clear. And then after we get all of that clear done and we're ready to do the flow coat, we will go back through and do a deep, deep, deep clean, replace all the filters on the paint booth so that the next three coats of clear for the flow coat will come out super, super clean. Well, it's all wet sanded out, masked off, cleaned and then cleaned again and then cleaned again. Uh, all of the seam sealer has been installed in the appropriate locations. Everything is masked and it is ready for sealer. So you can kind of see the tape lines that we have. All this will stay green. Got all of our Engine compartment masked off the way that it should be, so we don't get any overspray on that. And then the interior components um, are all masked off so that for two reasons. So we don't get overspray inside, and also so that while we're spraying, that stuff doesn't kick up and then come out and get contamination of our paint. So again, final top car. We're not gonna spend a huge amount of time trying to get really good coverage on top of the roof. It will all be painted and it will have uh, <clears throat> at least two coats of clear on the roof section. That way it'll be completely protected. And then all of the edges and seams around where all the glass goes will have good coverage and good protection. But we will focus our flow coat from that down on these uh, rear quarter panel sections. 
So underneath you can see is all completely masked off because all that has already been undercoated and we don't want a bunch of overspray to uh, get in there. So let's go ahead and we'll do one more clean on it. Tack rag, wax and grease remover, and then it'll be time to get this thing sealed up and spray color and clear. So for sealer, we just use uh, epoxy primer gray, and then we reduce it uh, by 10%. That's kind of the industry standard. And uh, gray is kind of a universal color. It's uh, good um, so that you get even coverage of the color coats on top of the gray base.
Well, here's how she turned out. Everything's dried. It's the next day. You can see the roof looks really good. It does have some orange peel, but that's to be expected. Our quarter panels. You guys remember this is where we had that, that patch panel. That turned out really, really nice. So next step on this is we're gonna leave it in the booth and we're gonna wet sand this back section, this rear quarter panel section, because it's really the only piece on the body that shows. Obviously, uh, we don't need to spend a lot of time up here, so we'll basically wet sand from about the middle of that sail panel down, wet sand all this with 800, and then we'll spray three more coats of clear on it. And then at that point, it'll be ready to cure out, and then we will wet sand and polish this back section. Um, there is a little bit of detail work that we'll need to do before we polish right here where the trim goes below that and all along the rocker will need to be painted in a satin black. So after we get our final three coats of clear sprayed on it, that'll dry and we'll mask off the body and we'll spray the black and then we'll wet sand and polish. So out here you can see we have the doors and the hood all prepped for flow coat. And you can notice that the jams are all still shiny and the main surfaces are dulled out because they've been wet sanded and blocked with 800. And so we will actually back mask right up to this edge and only get clear coat on the surfaces that are gonna be wet sand, color sanded and polished. Funny story, I had a customer um, a while back that commissioned a build and uh, he kept, he harassed me, he kept saying, well, I don't understand why you, you spray material on and then you sand it off and then you spray material on and you sand it off and you spray it and it's really nice and shiny and then you sand it and it becomes dull again, only to spray it and have it be shiny again. Um, needless to say, when the project was all finished, he was super happy with how the, uh, his paint job turned out, but this is, this is the difference. This flow coat uh, step is the difference between really, really nice paint like you can see here and perfect or near perfect paint. There is no such thing as a perfect paint job. There's always some flaw somewhere, but if you take the extra time and do the flow coat process like we are, um, it, everything is that much flatter. The clear coat is that much deeper and you've got enough material there to where you can really polish it out and make it look perfect. So anyway, enough talking, let's get to it. Here the Camaro is all prepped, ready to go for the flow coat. You can see we have the edges uh, taped off here and this is actually a soft edge. You can see the paint or the tape is not uh, tight up against that so that we won't have a sharp edge um, from a tape line. Same thing around the door jam, and it's prepped up high enough to where we're not going to have any issues um, with the vinyl top. So we've done the final wipe down. All of this stuff has been scuffed and prepped. You can see there's no nothing shiny. It's all dull, which means that it's been blocked. No orange peel. Everything looks really, really good. So let's go ahead and mix up some clear and spray it. Here we finished up the flow coat. Not sure if any of this uh, 
subtleties will translate in the video, but you can kind of see how smooth those uh, fluorescent lights are versus if you kind of trace that one up, you see where our, our tape line is from where the first round of clear goes into the flow coat. We'll color sand and buff this rear quarter section. And after that, the body can be unwrapped and we can see what this thing looks like without any of the masking on it. So let's get to work. Here are the fenders after the clear coat. And again, you can kind of see how smooth that clear coat lays down by tracking these fluorescent lights across the top of the panel. And again, this stuff is, has, not been, has not been color sand or buffed, so that little bit of orange peel will all come out um, in the color sanding process, but you can see the reflection is really sharp and really shiny. And then these doors, this body line right here, where it had the old door guard is really crisp and really clean. So because we mocked up everything and did the bodywork on the car, this seam will match up with this seam really, really well when everything is installed on the car. So uh, hood still needs to be flow coated and then the trunk needs to be painted and flow coated as well. So. This process takes a long time to get right, and it also takes up a whole lot of space in your shop because essentially you have all of these pieces spread out and it takes up the real estate of about three different cars just because of how many racks we have, how many stands we have, and it all has to kind of sit there and dry and not be touched. So let's get to it and keep cranking. Well, here is the finished product after all of the color sand and buff. You guys can see how nice and crisp and clean the reflection is of all those fluorescent lights on the uh, fenders as well as the doors. And you can also notice that we went ahead and sprayed the blackout on the bottom of the doors right along the trim line as well as the fenders. So all that stuff uh, really Turned out awesome. Still working on polishing the hood. So this is the wet sand process. We wet sand with 1500 and then 2000, and then we polish it with uh, multiple steps of compounds and different types of, of buffing pads. So over here, you can see we unwrapped the Christmas present, and now you can kind of get an overall vision of what this car is gonna be when it's done. Again, High horsepower LS with the TR6060 uh, transmission, the six speed manual, the Art Morrison subframe, big Corvette style brakes, coil over shocks. Um, and you can also kind of tell the two tone color scheme that we've got going on with the gold green as well as the satin black. So we got the Lower rockers painted at the trim line to match the doors. And then we also finished color sanding and polishing these rear quarters. And you can tell just that reflection is like glass. So I'm really happy with how everything has turned out. Um, this color is really, really uh, starting to look really good in modern paint systems. Um, a lot of people probably wouldn't have opted for this to be their first choice, but you know what? Um, it's the owner's first choice and that's ultimately all that matters. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. It does help out the channel and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.